One of my most popular videos on this channel is what to buy to get started. Basically a list of the components and things that beginners should buy to get started in electronics. One of the most popular comments on that video is what about those Amazon starter kits where it's just one kit, all the components you need. So when Elugu decided that they wanted to send me this super starter kit, I said, yeah, send it over. I'll take a look at the quality of the kit, the mix of the components, and the type of documentation you provide, and I'll make a recommendation based on that. So here it is. This is the Elugu Super Starter Kit. It is actually a fairly low-priced kit that's available on Amazon. Check the links in the description if you want to get yours. And I've already looked at this at this point because I'm recording this after I've recorded most of my video. And so if you're wondering if you should get it and you don't want to watch the video, yes, actually get it. It's a good value. All the parts are here picked for you. It's in a nice box that's not too small. Um, it's actually a very nice kit. And especially check out the documentation that comes with it. For the rest of you that want to watch the video though, um, I'm going to have to get all the stuff unpacked out of here and laid out on the mat so we can see what's included. So right off the bat you can tell that uh, that box, that little box that came in, is just jam packed with stuff. And in fact I would say that for any person who's beginning or even for any person who is experimenting, whether or not they're new to it, um, this is kind of like a good assortment of things. These components uh, alone, with no outside components, just the ones that come with the kit, um, seems like it could keep me busy for months. Uh, in fact, the combinations of stuff possible is pretty good. And in fact, there's a few things in this kit that uh, I wasn't expecting, but is very, very good to have in a starter kit. So I will bring you through the things one at a time in categories, and I'll talk to you about why it's a good idea to have it included. So the first thing to note is the breadboard and breadboarding essentials. So first and foremost, you get a full length breadboard uh, of actually pretty high quality. If you look, this is sort of like a tan color. It's not quite a, a white color. So these are the uh, slightly older style breadboards, which are actually of high quality. And in fact, Elegoo even have their own branding on it, and it comes in an Elegoo box. So this is actually a fairly high quality addition to this kit, as well as this little breadboard, which you can make little standalone circuits to uh, work on separately or with this one. On top of that you get a breadboard power supply. This one supplies 3.3 or 5 volts on each of the rails. You get a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery snap with a uh, 2.5 or 2.1 millimeter jack that fits into the breadboard power and so you don't even have to run to the dollar store to pick up a battery to power your breadboard. On top of all that you get two different kinds of hookups. You have the male to female and the male to male and the male to male is these little uh, rounded connections here with all sorts of different sizes and colors. This, if you don't have any of these in your breadboarding kit, you're doing it wrong. Elegoo has done it right. Next up are straight electronics components. You actually get, uh, I think it is like, geez, I don't know, must, it's a lot of them. Uh, you get a lot of resistors here in a wide range of values, 1K, 2K, uh, 330 ohms, 10 ohms, 100 ohms, 5K1, 10K, 1 meg, and 100K, and then that's 10 of each, and then you get 30 of these 220 ohm uh, resistors, which is a nice touch because you often use uh, 220 ohm resistors with LEDs, which you get a ton of as well. You get 25 in this kit. You get blue, green, white, red, uh, yellow, blue, green, right, white, red, yellow. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Um, you also get a couple of uh, ICs. You get the 74HC959 uh, and the L293D. You get a couple of buzzers. You got a passive and a active buzzer. 
you get a potentiometer, you get uh, two 2N2222 um, transistors, NPN transistors, you get a few tactile switches, um, you get a few LDRs, you get some diodes, you get um, a thermistor, which is a really interesting addition to the kit, and that has your electronic components pretty much covered. I can't really see anything else I would like to add except maybe some PNP transistors, but honestly, um, can't really balk over a couple cents worth of transistors. This, these two transistors, if you treat them right, will last you quite a while. You also get a lot of input and output stuff uh, like you see here. Very interesting to see in an Arduino kit is um, this uh, motor, DC motor, terminated in DuPont male connectors, so they're breadboardable, and they even give you a load to put on the motor so that the motor just doesn't spin at infinite, or whatever, way too fast. And uh, also this also gives you an idea of what the motor is doing visually, so very good for learning. You got joystick, you got a servo, highly recommended to, to have a servo with your Arduino. You have this remote control and IR receiver, so already you can think of the types of projects you can do with that. Not sure if this includes a battery or not. I wouldn't think that it does. Um, shipping lithium batteries, even the non rechargeable kind. Yeah, look at that. It even includes the coin cell. You don't have to go to the dollar store for anything. Um, DHT11, that's a temperature and humidity sensor. You have a stepper motor. So this is kind of like the your first steps in learning stuff like um, ca um, sorry, um, uh, cam and, um, and uh, sort of 3D printing and stuff. You get a stepper motor and the driver board for that stepper motor. You get a um, uh, ultrasonic distance sensor joystick. You get a relay, which again is super interesting. You don't often see uh, relays in Arduino kits. Very nice touch. You get a tilt switch. So pretty much your inputs and outputs are, are covered for quite a few projects. I mean, this is quite a good range of things. Whoever was on their development team Pretty much, uh, I, I would have done the same thing, really. You also get the usual suspects in terms of displays. You get a seven segment um, LED. You get uh, a seven segment by four block of LED. So this kind of thing for like a clock project, this sort of thing for just simple display. Um, and you get a uh, LCD. This is a 1602, 16 character by two tall. Um, no I squared C backpack on this. It would have been nice to have an I squared C option since Arduino can do R squared I squared C and it's my preferred way. But um, you have more than enough pins on the Arduino Uno to run this display as is. It's just you can't do too much else um, once you start running this directly from the Uno. But we'll have to see their projects that are included to see what kind of things they recommend you do. But still, uh, I would be very disappointed if there was no uh, displays. Um, even the ones, I, the other brands I see on Amazon don't often have an LCD at all. So especially at this price point, that's a good ad. And then, of course, the star of the show, we have an Elegoo branded uh, Arduino Uno R3. And I am so happy that they gave you the uh, dip chip on it because that means that um, you can just buy the bare dip from eBay and swap it in and out and have different software on the same base board. You can also put this dip chip directly into a breadboard and work directly through that. It needs minimal support components. So when you grow out of the Arduino Uno form factor, which I have not yet, you can easily um, do breadboard type projects. What I really like about it is it also has labeling on the female headers here. So even if you have this up on something else, you can see what pin you're plugging into. And also reading the silk is not always easy, uh, especially for me with a little bit of dyslexia. I often uh, get these holes wrong, not in this case. So it's actually a really clean board. There's not any solder flux or anything 
left on it. It's in good shape. And they give you a USB lead as well because it's the old school uh, printer style cable. So there we go. It's good that they give you a lead. Again, you can do projects without actually having to buy anything other than this kit. And they give you a prototyping shield, uh, which should plug in just like this. Look at that. No pins misaligned. Everything fits perfectly. And that allows you to extend out the pins from the Uno. And at the same time, prototype your own circuits here. And there's even a SOIC uh, spot to solder down here. Two switches included as well. Uh, this is actually a really good addition to the Arduino starter kit because if you do like an environmental type project, for example with the DHT11, um, you can actually deploy this somewhere in your home in a semi-permanent fashion. It's perfect. It's all in one spot. The Arduino footprint doesn't get any bigger. It just gets a little bit taller. So this is a really good addition also. On top of all that, hand on my heart, as soon as I finished filming a segment on the pieces, I was just tossing them back into the box. And the box closes without a problem. So they didn't cheap out and give you a box that is way too small for what they shipped. This thing is the perfect size and even the uh, seven segment LCDs still have their packing foam on them. So I could take that off to gain, gain even more space, rearrange things, but honestly, I mean, how can you complain about that? The next thing is that it does come with a CD of their software. Um, I don't own a CD reader anymore, so I'll go download the software package and let's take a look at what's included. So this page took two clicks to find. I go on Elegoo's website, you go to the downloads, and then you find your kit. This is the one we have here, Uno Project Super Starter Kit Tutorial. Okay, and you just click to download. Seems pretty simple. I'll extract this and we'll take a look. Here's all the extracted stuff. Uh, quite interesting is they give you a PDF on what to do uh, to get the libraries installed, which is quite good. Very interesting. Um, and then you go pick your language and you go pretty much do the tutorials. So first of all, you get a packing list. If you look, the documentation here is quite professional looking it's got nice graphics they have their official storefront so you can buy directly from them and not a third party um, they show you everything that seems to be included it's actually quite nice that they have a packing list like this the RGB LEDs are also a really nice touch take a first look at the Arduino now this may be related to the to, to you but it may not be if it's not your first time using Arduino you can clearly just disregard this they don't actually put it all in the same book so you don't actually have to go through the stuff that you don't need okay blink and adding libraries so this is really the beginning part uh, and then module learnings oh look RGB LED they've got the code in the same folder as the PDF which is great well, let's see what kind of stuff they want. So they tell you what you need, the R3, the breadboard, the mail-to-mail -mail jumper wires, RGB LED, 220 ohm. They, they tell you the pinout, which is just great. They show you the diagram. They explain how the R, G, and B uh, makes for a white. Um, oh, they're explaining how PWM functions. Let's see the schematic on how to connect it up. Very nice. So D3, D5, and D6 through 220 ohm resistors through the RGB LED. They even show you the, um, the sort of simplified diagram on the breadboard. That's really nice. Um, they show you how to install the uh, sketch warnings there's no semicolon after the define statement if you include one the compiler will throw cryptic errors further down the page I think they cover a lot of stuff so 
When you make a value judgment on a kit like this, it's usually based upon the value of the parts, but stuff like this is actually invaluable, really, because this is the stuff that you would be learning by watching YouTube videos, for example. It's all written out here in plain English in a way that you can understand it. And this is just one at random. We can go and take a look at the servo. I'm sure they'll be using a servo library. See, oh, look, that looks like the library. Let's zoom in here, take a look. Type of geared motor can only rotate 180 degrees. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pulses, pulses will tell the servo what position should move to. Yeah. This is, look at that. They even like introduce the component, they show you the parts that comes with it, they show you how to connect it up. The simplified diagram of connecting it up. Um, open the program in the folder servo. Yeah. See, they tell you the library. This is actually really cool. And that's just for the servo. I wonder if they go into more details later on. Uh, DC motors. Let's see what they have for DC motors. Okay, they use the uh, L293DIC. Very nice. They tell you about the breadboard power supply, where to put the jumpers, how to line it up on the breadboard. This is really interesting. They have the pinouts. They explain the H bridge driver. This is extremely detailed. This is surprising. This is the kind of stuff that you wouldn't think has a value, but this is a lot of man hours. Uh, take it from somebody who is currently writing a book, spoiler alert, um, this takes a lot of time to get right. Let's go to multi-module combination course. Okay, the 74HC595 and the segment display. Okay, they explain how that works, they explain the naming, the lettering, and how to make something show up. Very nice. Uh, and then the 75HC595 connection diagram. This is actually surprisingly good. This is not what you would expect for a kit of this price point. Even the relay. Um, now this is a good test of how thorough they are at explaining, will they include a flyback diode on the relay coil? If they include a flyback diode, that would be quite impressive. Okay, they're using the motor driver IC, so they may not actually add a flyback diode because I think the motor driver IC has a diode integrated. Okay, they show you where to place it. Very nice. There's the relay. And yeah, the there's flyback diodes inside this, so I don't think they were they're actually going to do it. But quite interesting again on how detailed everything is. Anybody can follow this, so I would say the age range for this kit would be like from really low to really high, probably around seven seven years old. You can start guided um, Arduino things. So there you have it. It's a very nice little concise kit. The documentation is excellent. The mix of components is pretty good. The quantity of consumable components is very good. Um, all the stuff is actually looks like it had some thought put into it. The um, types of components that, that they give you have put have had some thought put into it. So I would say definitely recommend if you're looking for a one-stop shop for electronics components and getting started with Arduino. You can't really go wrong with this thing. So check the links in the description if you want to buy one of these. Um, they are affiliate links, especially the Canadian one for me, the American one for one of my friends. And pick this thing up if you want to see me do some of the projects included in here and go over the details provided in the documentation let me know in the comments below either way thanks for watching